Now, Pakistan's former Prime Minister Imran Khan and the former Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi have once again been indicted in the Cypher case by a special court. The two Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf leaders have in fact pleaded not guilty to their involvement in any offence. They are accused of misusing diplomatic cables for political gain. The duo had been indicted earlier on the 23rd of October in the same case. Imran Khan's lawyer had argued that the proceedings were being conducted in a very haphazard and a hasty manner, adding that the PTI had challenged the previous verdicts which had been issued under the Official Secrets Act in the Islamabad High Court. Last month, after Imran Khan and Shah Mahmood Qureshi had challenged their indictment in the case, the Islamabad High Court had declared their jail trial as null and void, and it had allowed their intra-court appeals in the case. However, the federal cabinet has yet again approved the summary holding of the jail trial of both the politicians, following which the trial has continued. Now, the 27th of March in 2022, Imran Khan had waved a letter before a crowd in a rally and he had claimed that it was a cipher from a foreign nation that had conspired with his political rivals to have the PTI government under him overthrown. He had not expressly revealed the contents of the letter, nor did he mention the name of the nation that this letter, of course, had come from. It was widely reported that it was the United States, perhaps, which wanted to see off Imran Khan. And just one month later, remember, his government had been ousted. The new federal cabinet took note of the matter, and the probe, of course, began. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.